Micro-investing platforms are essentially the fintech response to the old adage, take care of the pennies and the dollars will take care of themselves. A micro-investing platform allows users to invest small amounts of money, often just spare change, into various investment vehicles. This typically includes stocks, bonds, and even ETFs, exchange-traded funds. Traditional investing can seem out of reach for many. The terminology alone can send a would-be investor running for the hills. Micro-investing aims to simplify and demystify the process, making it more accessible for the average person. It works like this. Every time you make a purchase, the platform rounds up the total to the nearest dollar, or some other preset amount, and then takes the difference to invest in a diversified portfolio. It's like a piggy bank, but instead of sitting on a shelf, it's bustling in the stock market. For instance, if I'm in Portland perusing the stacks at Powell's Books and I buy a book for $4.50, the platform rounds my purchase to $1.05 and invests that extra 50 cents. Some well-known platforms include Acorns, Stash, and Robinhood. Each has its own unique features and fee structures that cater to different types of users, from the financial newbie to the savvy saver looking to expand their horizons without stretching their wallets. What's enticing about these platforms is how they lower the barrier of entry. You don't need a lump sum to start. You can trickle your way into the market, learning as you go. Plus, many of these platforms offer educational resources to help users better understand where their money's going and growing. However, remember that investing always carries risks, no matter how much you put in. Even if you're only siphoning off small amounts, it's essential to consider where your micro-investments are going and whether the risk level suits your financial circumstances. But if you're clear on that, these platforms can be a convenient and relatively painless way to build up your investment portfolio. And hey, the next time I'm grabbing a coffee in the Pearl District and deciding whether to get a small or large, I might just go large, knowing that the extra cents are going towards my financial future.